So you're new to Genjin, you do some tin pulls on the current weapon banner, which I don't think you should be doing if you're new, but you do get a five star and you get Rakumisugiri. I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation. Not necessarily on purpose, but kind of on purpose. I don't even wanna try. Okay, this is Chiori's signature weapon. So in this video, we're gonna look at its weapon, its stats, what its passive does, and who it can be good for. So, as you can see above me right here, yes, I am using the trial Shiori from her trial to kind of have access to this weapon. This weapon does get up crit damage, which is phenomenal for a lot of characters that wield swords. Uh, it's passive. Normal attack damage is increased by 16% and elemental skill damage is increased by 24%. After a nearby active character deals geo damage, the aforementioned effects increased by 100% for 15 seconds. Additionally, the wielder's defense is increased by 20%. Now, there is really only two characters in the game that can get the full benefit of this weapon. There are a lot of characters that can get this first half, first third, possibly first half, not so much of the defense increase. It's not going to be that beneficial for a lot of characters. So in these videos, I've gotten to where I'm showing this weapon in action. Since I can't change this weapon off of Chiori, I'm more or less just going to show the difference in before we activate the full passive and, the, and whenever we activate the full passive. So Chiori's normal hits are going to be doing uh, 1783 with the crit, like 620 around that area without the crit. Um, you're going to see a bunch of different numbers that is depending on the first, second, or third slash in her normal attacks. But we can see that we have a pretty good approximation of how much damage she's doing. Once we use her skill, let me break out of this bubble, uh, it is going to be doing more. Now it is also geo damage. I'm uh, waiting for the geo to stop. And it was 829 on the non-crit, whereas before it was like 600. So you can see that we have gone up in damage with her normal attacks doing more damage. So we are getting more of the damage once we activate the passive. Um, once we use the geo damage, we are getting more damage as the increasing that normal attack and skill damage bonus. Now she does get the defense bonus as well, which Chiori is a character that is split on attack and defense for scaling. So because of how Chiori's skill works, which we'll talk about in a video on Chiori later on, her skill is going to be doing damage even when she's not on the field. So she can greatly appreciate the increase in the skill damage. She is split between attack and defense. So she is going to also appreciate this weapon giving her attack as a stat, as well as a defense and the passive. Now there's only one other character that equips swords that can use this weapon fully. And that is going to be Albedo. Now Albedo's skill scales off of defense and his burst scales off of attack. So he has a split scaling, but not in the same way as Chiori. But because he is a Geo character and because he can cause Geo damage and because his skill does do damage based off of defense, especially if you were using him with like four Pete's golden troop where you're using him off field or your main damage from him is going to be his skill, then he can make a very, very good use for this weapon. I believe this is actually his best weapon now is this one. So he is the second character that can take full advantage of this weapon. Now, every character after this point cannot take full advantage of this weapon. What I mean by that is that they will be able to use the like crit damage. They'll be able to use the increase in the normal attack or the skill or both. They may not be able to trigger the passive, like they may not fit within a Geo team and they will not be able to get any necessary benefit from the defense. So these are all gonna be niche. And first we have Farina. Now Farina can definitely make use of the crit damage. She can definitely make use of the skill damage. However, if you are having her in a team without a Geo character, she cannot get the second part of the first part of the, uh, of the passive, where it's gonna increase the skill damage even further. You have to have a Geo character deal Geo damage to get that full passive. She also is not gonna benefit much from the defense. After that, we're gonna have a character like I'll hate them. Again, he can make very good use with the crit damage, very good use of the normal attack and even the skill. However, Dendro and Geo don't have a reaction so having I'll hate them in a team with a Geo character is not necessarily going to be that good, right? Like, I 
you probably can do it. I don't necessarily recommend it, but without that geo damage, you're not gonna be able to fully trigger the increase in normal attack and skill damage. Next is gonna be like a Yaka. A Yaka uses her normal attacks a lot, and she can do fair good amount of damage with her skill. Same thing, she's going to appreciate the increase in the damage and the skill, but without a Geo character, she can't trigger it. Now you can have like Zhongli and a party with a Yaka, and that can be very good. So you can trigger this if you have like Zhongli with a Yaka. And the same thing is gonna go for her brother, Ayato. He uses his normal attacks a lot. He's gonna use his skill a lot too. So just like Ayaka, it's gonna be the exact same scenario where you you can do it. He's gonna appreciate the crit damage just like Ayaka is gonna appreciate the crit damage. But unless you have a Geo character in there like Zhongli, then you can't fully trigger it. But if you were able to put Zhongli in there and get the full trigger because the passive says nearby active character. So it doesn't have to be the character equipping the sword. It just has to be a Geo character, a character in your party. So if you can do that, then you can get the full passive. Now that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, you be sure to leave it down in the comments myself or someone else. Be sure to answer it, and I'll see you in the next one.